92% of Jordan is desert, but the Jordan Valley was renowned for centuries as being one of the most lush and productive lands in the world. But years of overgrazing and drought have left it arid with high salinity levels. I'm Yara Bimolham and Joastra Jordan, looking at how simple permaculture principles are bringing the desert back to life. Just two and a half years ago, the site looked like this. And now look at all these trees growing naturally. Jeff Lawton is turning 3,000 square metres of the Jordanian desert into an oasis. The Australian is using permaculture, a method that develops ecosystems intended to be sustainable and self-sufficient. It's located in the Jordan Valley, 400 metres below sea level, the lowest place on Earth. The people of Joastra are poor because their region is arid and their soil salty. Once you've salted the landscape a metre or two, then you have to wash through with more and more water all the time to get the salt to wash down into the lower layers. In hot, dry climates, surface water evaporates quickly, drawing up moisture and with it salts, such as sodium chloride, sodium sulfate, potassium and magnesium, which are dissolved in groundwater. This creates a surface buildup, which is toxic to many plants, making the land unusable for agriculture. Eventually you end up with 20 metres of salted soil and you're out of production for a thousand years. The first step to reversing the process is to reduce evaporation. Everything you do is an anti-evaporation strategy of design. So mulching, sunken beds, shade over the vegetable garden and increased organic matter. So this here is uh, compost. Yep, this is compost in process. So I'm going to put in this compost thermometer and almost like a compost doctor, I'm going to just do a bit of an analysis of our temperatures. What sort of heat range do you need? Ideally, 55 degrees centigrade to 65, because that's where the most organisms are. A compost heap like this will take up to 20 days to make, but can feed the soil for up to 17 years. It's really warm. It's hot and wet. That's what we want. You want the moisture to I stay in I want to retain it. the moisture. I want it to get finer and finer, darker and darker, less and less smell, and end up at the end just warm, dark brown, with a little bit of woody material left in it. And then it's got all the beneficial life to grow those plants in a sustainable, organic way. Not only that, but it acts like probiotic health for the soil. Well, it's inoculating the soil with beneficial organisms that make the plants not only 50% more water retentive, but also it gives the plants uh, protection from any diseases or pests. It's like a shield over the plants. Jeff is creating a demonstration site where he's training people how to live sustainably with limited water and resources. Permaculture enthusiasts are coming from around the world to learn about the compost techniques. They'll be taking these principles to places as far afield as Afghanistan, Peru and Ghana. But Jeff is more interested in training the locals. Then just scoop out that little dish and then compost. His mac ain? Yeah. Huh. Eye. This is called the eye in Arabic then. The site isn't finished yet, but already local Jordanians are feeling the benefits. <laughs> The aim is to get an economically sustainable system running within three years. I think it all just gets better from here as long as we've got local people adopting these systems. And that's what we're here for. We're here to demonstrate and educate. That's our main mission.